In Creo Parametric, the Options Modeler functionality supports a configure to order manufacturing strategy in which you have interchangeable components. This allows a customer to select choices from predefined lists. Let's take a look at an example of a configurable product. That is the motorbike assembly. You'll notice it has a different symbol than a standard assembly in the model tree. And if you take a look at the model in the graphics area, you'll see that it looks odd because we have a lot of overlapping components. That's because this configurable product contains a number of configurable modules. And the configurable modules contain different variants of components that can be swapped out for one another. For example, we have a motor module and the motor module has two different versions of the engine. It's got a smaller engine and a larger engine. We also have a center frame assembly. It's got a smaller center frame and a larger center frame and so forth and so on. So for example, we have rear arms and there are two different versions of the rear arms. One is wider and that wider one supports a different wheel than the smaller one. And similarly, we have a front forks module with two different components. We have a front wheel module with two different versions of the wheel. And also we have two different versions of a fuel tank. We have a smaller fuel tank and a larger fuel tank. And similarly, we have the tail module, two different versions there. You'll notice in the model tree, we also have a couple of standard components. We have a standard assembly for the rear shock, and we have a standard part model for the headlights. So the configurable product will consist of configurable modules and standard parts and assemblies. In order to allow the customer to select the different variants that they want, we can set up different options and choices. If we go to the Assign Choices dialog box, we can see that for this particular configurable product, we, have, we can select a component and assign different options and choices to it. But right now, we don't have any options or choices. To create the different options and choices, you can use the pencil icon. And now we have a line here and it tells us we can double click to add a new option. And the first option that I'm going to create, let me double click here, I'm gonna call it power. And for the power, we can define our choices. The first choice that I will make, I'll call it 450cc for the larger engine. And let's make a second one, let's make this 125cc, hit the enter key. And you can continue making as many choices as you want the user to have. Let's create a second set of choices. Let's create one for the size. And we'll have two different choices there. Let's create an option for long and create a second option for short. Let me collapse these as I'm creating them just to keep the list a little easier to read. Next up, let's create the style option. And we'll have two different styles. We'll have a road style and an off-road style. And let's see, two more options. We'll have choice for the fuel tank and they can choose either a large or a small fuel tank. And lastly, we're going to create one for headlights. Maybe some versions are going to have headlights, others are not. So let's call this headlights. And we'll just give simple choices of yes and no. And in that way, we've set up our options and their different choices. I will hit the check mark in order to finalize that. And you'll notice now we have our choices and there are a couple of different boxes in here. One is for include and one is for exclude. Those will change color once I start selecting different components. Now we're going to apply different choices to different components. Let's start off with the motor module. 
Again, there are two different versions of the engine. I happen to remember that the A engine is the smaller one. Let me make sure that the collector here is activated. Let's select engine A. And now you can see that we have red boxes and green boxes. Red is for when you want to explicitly exclude that component from a given choice. And the green box is when you want to include it. And so we want the smaller engine, the A engine, to be associated with lower power choice. So I will check that box over there. Now let's assign the larger engine to the higher power choice by clicking in the green box. As I am making these choices, you'll notice that we're seeing the assignments in the assignments column. When you are using the options model or functionality inside of Creo Parametric, you are automatically going to get a column in the model tree in order to view the assignments. So that's good for that one. Now let's take a look at the fuel tank. We know that the different fuel tanks are just associated with these two different choices. Let me click here in the collector to make sure that that is active. And fuel tank one, that one I know is associated with the large choice. And let me click in the collector again and select fuel tank two. And that one's going to be associated with the small choice. And again, we're building up the different options in here. So that's one way of doing it where you just go through the different choices and select the components or you select the components and then grab which choices they are associated with. Let's take a look at another example. I'm going to click in the collector and then pick the headlights part, which is a standard component. It isn't associated with any module variants. And then this case, I can say, hey, you know what? We don't want to have headlights on the off-road configuration, so we're going to exclude it. We want to discourage people from off-roading at night. And also, we have the yes, no choice for the headlights. So I can say, hey, when someone chooses the no option, then we are not going to have the headlights in that particular variant. So that's good for the headlights. Let's see, ones I haven't dealt with yet, let's take a look at size. Another way of doing this is by selecting all the components that are going to be associated with a particular choice. For example, if I go to the center frame, I know that this particular frame is going to be associated with the long choice. Same if I go to the rear arm assembly, I'm going to hold down the control key and select the wide swing arm. And also, if I go to the front forks, the A fork will be associated with the long choice. And lastly, if I go to the tail module, we know that the large version of the tail module is going to be associated with the long size. So now I go to size over here. Here's the green box for long. I can hit the box in order to check it. And there you see the choices are assigned. Now I can remove all and I'll select the opposites of those components or the other options for size using the control key. And now they're all selected in here. And we can say that these are going to be associated with the short choice. And that way I've got that one applied. All right, the last thing I need to set up here are for the different styles. Let me remove all of these. And those deal with the wheels. If I have the regular touring wheels, which are the smaller ones, those are going to be associated with the road style. Let me remove all from here. And if I grab the knobby wheels, the really big ones, those are going to be used for off-roading. Now that I've associated all the components to their given choices, I can click close out of here. And that way we are now set up to allow someone to build variants, which we will cover in another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.